Good morning children. Today I'm going to teach you a new poem. The name of the poem is Ekoi Brie, written by William Blake. Now, William Blake is a British poet and painter. Now, in this poem, the Ekoi Brie, William Blake is trying to show the two phases of humans' life. One is childhood and the other is adulthood. So please pay attention while I read and explain this poem. The sun does arise and make happy the sky, the merry bell rings to welcome the spring. The sky, lark and thrush, the birds of bush, sing louder around to the bell's cheerful sound. Now, when the sun arises, before the sun arises, we find different types of activities taking place to welcome the morning. You will find bells ringing at different places. Uh, you will find different types of, of hymns or songs being played in different temples or in church to welcome the morning. Now, when the morning is welcome, you find birds also going out, leaving their nest and going out in search of food. But when these birds, they go out in search of food, they make a very loud noise. They make different types of sounds. We hear the birds making different types of sounds. Some sounds are very sweet and melodious to hear. Some sounds are very loud. So everybody is trying to welcome the morning and everybody is trying to get ready for the various activities that needs to be done on that day. Now what are the skylark doing? The skylark and the thrush are birds of bushes. Now this skylark, this sweet, the skylark sings sweet melodious song as well as the thrush makes a very loud sweet noise to welcome the morning, to welcome the spring. Now where do these activities all take place? These activities all take place in the echoing green. These activities all take place well in the echoing green, in the in the field, in the park, close to nature. You find human beings like children as well as old people and young people going for a walk, going to play. Where, where are they going? They are all going to the nature. They are all going to nature to welcome the morning, to welcome the bright sunlight. And, as, and moreover, it is springtime. So everything is more beautiful, it's, everything is filled with lush greenery. For that reason, the poet has said uh, well, to welcome the spring in the first stanza. Now moreover, you find that children also go, are getting ready to go to school and there are some people that are ready, getting ready to go to work. Now, but these children as well as these people, they cross this nature while they are going and they see the beauty of nature as well as the beauty of the morning. We are all welcoming the morning in some way or the other. Old John with white hair does laugh away came, sitting under the oak among the old folk. Now old John and his friend, they sit under an oak tree and they look and see at the activities that these small children are doing and they laugh away care. Means old John is not worried about any death, he doesn't take any tension, he's not worried about any problem as well as his friends. And whenever they see these activities of these children like playing in the park, playing hide and seek, playing with balls, uh, playing with balls and screaming, shouting and doing different types of activities. So they also feel very happy. They laugh at our play. Now when they see these small children's play, old John and his friends, they start laughing at the children's play. Now why are they laughing at the children's play? Now the reason for them to laugh at the children's play is why? Because they were thinking about their days when they were small children just like them and they, were, they are thinking about those days and they are feeling more happy and the games that they used to play. It's the same games 
which those children are playing one school john and his friends were also playing the same games when they were small kids or small children in the same place in the same park under the same oak tree they they laugh at our play and soon they all say such such were the joys when we were all girls and boys in our youth time were seen on the echoing tree now old john and his friends when they see these children playing different types of games and doing different types of activity they start thinking about their old days and then they say such such were the joys when we were all girls and boys when we were at the same age when when old john and his friends were at, were small children they also used to do the same games they also used to play the same games and do the same activity that the children are doing now under the oak tree and they think about those days and they feel very happy from inside they feel very happy from inside and when did they do they used to do all these activities and games they used to do all these activities and games in the echoing green in the same park under the same uh, under the same oak tree in the same environment in the same neighborhood that they were once small children the little ones were uh, very no more can be made the sun does descend and our sports have an end now the little ones while playing in the and uh, playing after coming back from school again in the evening the children as well as old folks they go again for a walk so coming back from school coming back from office then they go out, out again to the park to do for recreation go for recreation to entertain themselves so now these small children what do they do is they play the same games and they keep on playing till the sun doesn't descend till the sun doesn't descend means till the sun doesn't set and till they do not get tired out they keep on playing till they do not get tired out and till the sun doesn't descend and on how do they come to know that it's time for the sun to descend when it turns when the sun sets and when it is turning dark again it's turning dark and dusty again then the children come to know that it's time for them to end their games and to go back home to their mother to their home to go back home and to have their dinner and listen to the story that the mama has to say mama has to say and then they after listening to the mother's stories and they all put their heads on their mother's lap and they all go to sleep and our sports have an end round the laps of their mothers many uh, sisters and brothers like birds in their nest are ready for rest and our sports no more see on the darkening green now when it's turning dark and dusty when it is turning dark and dusty then the children as well as the old folks they all know that it is time to go back home and there are no other activities that is going to be done outdoors in the nature in the in nature no other outdoor activities can be done so at that time when the sun sets all people go back home all the birds also return back to their nest and now these children when it is turning dark and dusty they are so tired out of playing they go home they wash wash their hands and like they have the dinner and after having the dinner is story time when the mother is telling them stories so they along with their brothers and sisters what happens is listening to the stories of uh, from their mother they all put their heads on the mother's lap and they all go to sleep at that time there is no more activities going on on the darkening green means the darkening green means over here is referred as the entire the day has come to an end all the activities have also come to an end it's time for people to take rest and to wait for the next morning and to welcome the next morning so children until then i want you to read the chapter uh, read the poem as many times as possible and listen to this explanation video until then thank you